Hi there, first graders. Our lesson today is called Comparing Penguins. And in this lesson, we're going to be working on solving addition and subtraction problems. We also are going to be using our handy dandy number rack. Now, I want you to go get a piece of paper and a pencil so you can do some of the work and equation writing along with me during the video. If you don't have that already, pause the video now and go get those supplies. All right then, first graders. We're taking a look at some story problems today. All of them are about penguins. In this first story, there are seven penguins standing on the ice, and there are five penguins swimming in the water. We want to know how many penguins are, how many more penguins are on the ice than are in the water. Now, before we do any solving, we need to write our equation out and make a plan for what we're going to be doing. I know that when I'm finding how many more, I'm going to be doing some comparing, and that usually means I'm going to need to subtract. So let's do some thinking first graders. I have a 7 and I have a 5. Which one of those numbers is bigger? Let's write that number first. You're right, the seven is. Now when I'm comparing, I'm gonna take away that number that's the same or the number that lines up. In this case, we know it's the five. We wanna know how many more or how much bigger seven is than five. Now some of you I already see are writing that answer into your equation, but before we do, Let's do some comparing on our number rack. I have my seven that were on the ice. I have my five that were in the water. Now, I'm able to compare really easily right now. I see those five that were the same. So if I take those five that were the same away, I'm left with those two extra. Is that what a lot of you guys are putting for your answer? Fantastic. Let's clear our number rack for now and finish writing that final answer in. We know there are two more penguins in the water. Or I'm sorry, on the ice. Now, friends, I want to know how many penguins there are all together. What do you think we're going to do? Are we going to subtract or are we going to add if we want to find out how many penguins there are all together? You're right. We're going to add. Right now on your piece of paper, can you write down the adding equation you think we would need to solve? Yeah, it's going to turn into 7 plus 5. Now I have my group of 7. Some of you I hear saying, well, let's count on. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Ooh, but I hear somebody saying there was a different strategy you could use. Some friends knew, well, if I had five, five more gets me to 10, 11, 12. They used that doubles fact and added two more from there. Nice strategies, first graders. We know that all together there are 12 penguins. Remember, when we're finding out how many more, that's a comparing problem, and we know we're going to be subtracting. When I want to know how many all together, I know I'm going to be adding. Let's use those strategies on our next story. I have eight penguins standing on the ice and ten penguins swimming in the water. 
I want to know how many more penguins are in the water than on the ice. Am I going to be adding or subtracting if I want to know how many more? Yes, we're going to be subtracting. Let's write our subtraction e equation together. I see a 10 and an 8, and I know when I subtract, I start with my bigger number. Which number is bigger? 10 minus 8. Oh, I love to see how many of you are already finishing your equation. Before I write my final answer, I want to double check on my number rack. So again, there was 10 in the water, there was 8 on the ice. Well, right away, I can do some comparing on my number rack. I'm taking away the 8 that are the same, and I'm able to see how many extra there are. I see there are two more. That lets me know that there was two more in the water. I could do the same thing, first graders, by only moving over that group of 10. If I know I'm going to subtract, I could say 10, take away the 8 that were on the land, and I'm left with two more. Let's record that answer. 10 minus 8 equals 2. Well, how many penguins are there in all? If I want to know how many penguins altogether am I going to subtract or am I going to add? You're right, I'm going to add. Again, I'm going to use those numbers I already see. 10 plus 8 equals, shout it out first graders, 18. So many of you knew that in a snap because we know when we're adding a single digit onto a 10, it's going to make that teen number. Awesome work, first graders. Let's keep going with our next equation or our next story problem. This time it tells us there are four penguins swimming in the water, but there are six more penguins hiding behind the hill than in the water. We want to figure out how many penguins are hiding behind the hill. Hmm. So again, we're going to write the equation as we go. We know that there are four penguins that we can see in the water. And we know that there are more penguins behind the hill. When we see that word more, are we adding or subtracting? We're adding. How many more are there? There's six more. So we know we're going to add all that up to find out how many total penguins are hiding behind this hill. Right now, do you think you know without even having to look at the number rack? Keep that number in your head. We're going to go double check. We saw that group of four. And then right here, first graders, how many do you see? You see six left behind because we know four plus six is a group of ten. That is a ten fact we've done a lot of practice with. Well, now I want to know how many penguins are there all together? Again, I know there's this four in the water, but I also know four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten penguins hiding behind that hill. Let's combine them. So we know our equation is going to turn into four plus ten.
Oh, a lot of you are right. You're recognizing just because the four is first in the equation doesn't mean we have to add it up that way. We can start with that group of 10 and add the four more. And it's a teen number. You're right. Four plus 10 is 14. There are 14 penguins all together. Let's do our last practice ones together, first graders. There are nine penguins standing on the ice. We can see them right here. There are six more penguins standing on the ice than there are swimming in the water. Oh, so right now I know there are less penguins in the water. I'm going to write my equation out to try to make sense of this. There are nine penguins on the ice. I know there are less penguins in the water. There are six less penguins in the water. If there is less, I know I'm going to subtract. Right now, we have an equation to solve, first graders. So let's go over to that number rack. We're going to clear our work from before. Now, I don't know how many to slide down here yet, but I know that there are six more above than below. So I'm going to take away that group of six. How many penguins are left below? Oh, I'm sorry, first graders. Miss Mariani made a mistake. Good thing I double checked my work. I was thinking of this like a group of 10. And so normally if it was a 10 group, I would go to that little red ball. But this was one less, which means I need to take away one more of those red beads. How many are left? There's three left. I can double check my work by doing the opposite operation. If I know there was three penguins in the water and there are six more penguins on the ice, I could add that six. Does three plus six equal nine? Six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, it does. These equations are within the same number family, so it helps me check my answer and helps me make sense of what I just did. There is only three penguins in the water. But now I want to know how many penguins are there in all? Well, we know there are the three penguins in the water, plus how many penguins are on the ice? Nine penguins. Oh my goodness, I love to see how some of you right away are jotting that answer. You know the tens fact that can help us out. You know that 10 plus 3 is 13. So we're going to take one away. 9 plus 3 is going to be 12. You got it, first graders. There are 12 penguins all together. Today, my first grade friends, you are going to give some story problems a try. Let's open up to the sheet so you know what it's going to look like. You can find this in number corner activities, or you can also find it in the daily plan and just print it. You have some story problems that you're going to be solving. They're just like the, a lot of the story problems we just practiced together. Remember, it's a good strategy to underline important numbers and underline important words that give you hints on whether or not you're going to add or subtract. Altogether, you have six story problems that you're going to be trying.
Remember to use your strategies and more importantly, you need to show your work. So you're gonna show your work by drawing a picture. You could show your work by writing an equation, but show us how you're getting to that final answer. All right, first graders, do your best. We will see you on Friday. Bye, first grade.